Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about Kaposiform Lampangio Matosis Symmetry. Demnology Kaposiform Lampangio Matosis class are known by aggressive lymphatic disease with poor prognosis, which are opposed in neoplasia and malformation. Predominantly affect thorax with progressive respiratory symptoms and hemorrhage. Most common symptoms are respiratory 50 to 55 percent, cough and deep breathing, coagulopathy and or hemorrhage 50 percent, thrombocytopenia is common, mass 25 to 35 percent. Eight, major age of presentation 6.5 Yes. Imaging poorly defined in putative fluid signal density, generation, soft tissue region of mediastinium and chest wall, very bronchial and interlobar septum, sickening of lung parenchyma plus minor pleural and periodic diffusion enhancement of imputating abnormal lymphatic tissue on T2C plus up. As implied, occasion, thorax, mediastinum 100%, lung, floral, 80 to 90%, subcutaneous tissue, retroperitoneum, more than 50%, bone, spleen, 50 to 60, each type called the discrete lesion. This is the art second trust in CT in an adolescent girl with sort of breast of infiltration and expansion of the periobronchial and miastinal soft tissue by poorly defined fluid attenuation region. Contrast in CT in lung window in the same patient with a bushy form infantile. Matosis, so extensive peripronchial and interlobar septal thickening. T1C plus FSMR in the same patient, several months later, so peripronchial thickening with diffuse enhancement of the infiltrating mediastinal. And pleural lesion, a light, light pleural infusion has developed. PA cheradiograph in an adolescent with short of breath, so peripronchial and interlobal sickening with mediastinal widening, this patient was ultimately diagnosis of fine. Again, this is PA radiograph in a 12 years old patient with several miles of coughing with moderate peripheral sickening in the periochiral distribution. There is associated mild mediastinal widening without tracheal deviation. This is contrast in CT in the same patient, but also sickening of interlobular hair septa in addition to miasmal widening and sickening of, sickening of the periobronchial vascular in tertiary. Treatment, no established effective long-term therapy, limited report of improvement with serolimus when twisting. Temporary clinical improvement with drainage procedure, including thoracic synthesis, periodic cardiosynthesis, periodic window. Thank you.